These bosses that Ninja Kiwi has been putting out lately are very, very fun to play. So today we're doing the Elite Vortex, but take a look at the rules. So the, you can only buy one Paragon. That's kind of the most important rule out of all of this thing, because they only want you to basically use one main DPS tower to beat this whole entire thing. Although you can have many more towers, but it's just that when you reach these, these high tiers, it's only going to be one doing the majority of the damage. So look at the heroes. No Ben, no Geraldo, which means the farming is not going to be happening, at least not through heroes. And then if you thought that you're gonna buy you know the one paragon is gonna be the ace well that's not gonna be happening because the ace is banned and then you would you might say something like well you can buy one paragon but then i'm gonna buy the vtsg and get some extra damage that's not a thing either because they banned the super monkey as well now all these other modifiers like the health and the speed they've been kind of reduced the speed is i like it's nice to have it at 50 percent, but it's vortex which is the fastest boss and then the health being at 50 percent, i think is the most important one out of all of this and let me show you guys a trick on this specific map so you guys can see the statue which you can remove for a thousand dollars but you don't actually have to remove it if you want to place towers around it. well it's it actually works only on two spots if i remember so it's yeah look at this thing so it's this spot here in the right bottom right corner and then this one one. Let me just find it. Yeah, there we go. In the bottom left. So you can actually have a tower here without removing the statue. And this is actually kind of a nice spot. It, it hits all these lines and, and that's the only thing that we care about. So that was round four. We leaked a bunch of lives. I guess the road spikes because we have two sets of road spikes for both tracks. They kind of saved us a little bit, but I do want to get Quincy. He's a very cheap hero. He's going to help defending in these early rounds. I think that's kind of the main benefit that we're getting from Quincy is that you can just place him and, and you can just focus on farming. At least in these early rounds, which is the, the only thing that, that we care about right now. So we're gonna have the money right now i think i'm gonna have him here and then if i have him like this he no so so look at this thing so he barely reaches but then the level four he gets slightly longer range and i think that as soon as he hits level four he's actually going to be able to hit this track which is going to it's going to be just a little bit of extra damage it's just like even if it's like one to two extra shots that is going to translate into more life save and round 10 is about to end so let's just check the slightly longer range thingy and let's see if he is uh, he is, he is absolutely attacking but he's missing because it's Quincy <laughs> So he missed the shot on the yellow loom, but that's fine. So round 13 is a very chill round, so we can buy these farms. It's 2200 farms, and so here's what we're doing next. We want to have two farms, so basically these two guys that we have on screen, and we're going to upgrade one of them to 220, so that's going to be this one, the left one. It's round 14, by the way, so here's what I want to do. We don't have the money for the valuable banana, so I'm just going to I'm gonna try and have the Quincy on strong for a little bit, just to kind of focus on these yellow blooms, and hopefully that saves us... I mean, I saw Red Bloom League, but that, I'm going to take that. You know what? It's completely fine. We're trying to save as many lives as possible with this thing. So just go on strong again. Go back on first, and then we're going to have the ability for 15. And, and that's just the way that I want to play this. So let's get the valuable bananas next. This is going to be a 2-2-0. And then this other one, we're going to sell it in a second. But let's just let's just watch around. So let's go on strong. Let's use the ability because I see the pink balloons. Go back on first very quickly. I mean, 86 lives and 10 mana shield. I'm fine with that one for now. But we're going to need uh, these lives as much as possible. So here's what we're doing today. This bank is going to... Well, not this bank. This farm is going to sell for $2,300. And then the bank is 3.8k. So when we're at about you know 1.4k, something like that, we're going to sell this thing. And we're going to buy the bank as soon as possible. So that should be happening. When is it going to happen? Hopefully next round... Oh my god, we're leaking so many lives. See, this is what I was talking about, about the lives. And uh, yeah, so the ability is coming up. Let me... How much is this? We're going to need one more clap. And there we go. That's round 18 that we're getting the farm on. Okay, so now we have to pay attention to the bank. So there we go. We're going to collect right now. And let me just keep buying all the villages and everything else that we want to get. So first off, let me buy a discount village. That's going to be discount village number one. This is going to be... Is this the spot? Yeah, let's just have it like this. It's gonna be discount village number two, and then discount village number three, which is not gonna be no, it's not gonna be a range of the uh, first one. So, is it worth it for me to do this? I think it is. Let's do it like this. Let's give that guy range. Do it like this, and now we're gonna get a discount to the monkey town upgrade, basically. And uh, here is the plan for this thing. We need to sell this thing, collect and sell from this thing, and then we're going to basically upgrade the monkey town sell both of these villages and then buy the monkeyopolis so let's collect sell let's buy this thing let's buy the monkey city and now we no longer need both of these villages well it would be nice to have them but we no longer need them so we're gonna sell sell and that is that is 4.3k so we're very close on this thing okay so next round i feel like 33 is gonna be the round that we're gonna be able to get this thing so uh it's so round 34 boom there we go we get the miniopolis and finally, you know what? We can also get a bunch of free Dark Monkeys, which you're gonna do, well, I guess they're gonna defend a little bit. You know what? 
Might as well place them. Why not? I mean, this beats just having to buy other towers, I guess. So I'm just going to be placing these three dark monkeys. All right. So that was marketplace number two. And I think it is time for us to start thinking about... Let me just buy a dark monkey, by the way, at the top. I'm just going to keep stacking these darts at the top. And I think it's time for us to start thinking about defending the boss. So first off, bigger radius. And so here is... Can I fit... Because I really want to have it in the range of the discount village. But I also don't want it to get stunned. So maybe like... Would this be a good spot? Like, it's not gonna get stunned if I have it over here, right? I mean, only one way to find out, honestly. Do we have the money if I sell this? 14 and a half, yeah, I think we do. So let's do it like that. And let's get this thing to submerge and support as soon as possible. Get this thing on strong, because I don't want to have this sub getting stunned. And I think we I think we have it. Okay, so we, we actually want a balloon to leak now, so that we can trigger the passive ability of this guy. Then I'm going to immediately switch it to first, although I see that. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. So let's not risk it. Let's do, do it like this. I'm going to have this up to 301. Oh, there we go. We leaked. Okay, that's amazing. So now let's move it on strong. Dish as much damage as possible. And also, don't forget to farm, honestly. Are we doing fine? How are we doing? I mean, I think we're actually holding on. This is like, like a little bit of micro that we're doing, but I think that we're doing well. So let's move it on. Oh, no, 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 go on first. Oh my god, no, that was bad micro. I just I just had it on strong and I should have moved it on first. And I'm going to keep it on first because we have ceramics. Strong 43, guys. Says. So we have ceramics on this one. And that was just my bad. That was that was my, my mistake. Let's do it like this. Let me... How is the boss going? Let me keep buying these guys as 023s. And let's actually... Let's actually keep moving it on first. Like, yeah, like you need to micro this thing between strong and first, and then ideally you would want to have controlled leaks in which a very small balloon is going to leak. It's going to trigger the passive ability, and then you're going to get this extra damage burst. Just like that. Just like that. Okay, I think that we leak like a, a very small balloon. And is this fine? I mean, I do have it on first, but it looks like these guys aren't getting decount because they're so fast. But that's fine. Okay, that was tier one. All right, so let's do it like this. Let's sell this one. Let's buy the Trade Empire and the Grape Shot. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'm just even going to get the Hot Shot as well. Let's buy... How many Merchant Men? I mean, I can buy one, but I'm going to get the Grape Shot onto this thing, which is going to... It's also going to get some extra damage thanks to the Trade Empire. And I feel like these guys should be able to defend now. This should be a lot better than last time. I'm also going to keep buying Merchant Men. So let's do it like this. Oh, yeah, we're definitely defending. And we're doing well, honestly. Not doing too bad. Okay, so I was able to fit 10 mini merchant men in here. And I think that I'm going to stop it then. So next up, we need to focus on buying some other stuff. So I think I'm just going to be buying 0, 2, 3 farms because that's the most efficient thing to do. And then we're going to switch our farming in these later rounds. So for now, I'm just, you know, the strategy is going to be pretty simple. Uh, we have a very good defense going. So I'm just going to keep buying these guys. These are all going to be under a discount village or at least as many of them as possible. And then I'm just going to get ready for the next year of boss. So I will see you guys in a second. Okay, so the next boss is incoming. And I actually have a very strict and a very detailed plan about this thing. Because I really want to get it pumped before round 63. Because if you guys know how Vortex works, basically all of the balloons that are going beneath it are very fast. And so when round 63 comes in, it's going to be a bunch of ceramics. And I don't want to deal with that thing in the first place. Because our defense is going to be the mat. And so the mat is very good versus mob class balloons. But it's very bad versus ceramics. So I want to just get rid of the boss before round 63. And so the way that I'm going to do that. First off, look at this placement that I found. So this thing is going to be in range of the village which we're going to get discount on and then we're also going to sell it under uh, these favorite trades boats well actually under the trade empire so that's amazing i'm also going to get the jungle drums for extra attack speed and this is just going to be the mat i bought an alchemist for it it's got the attack speed and i'm thinking whether or not i should be getting an overclock I i'm i'm thinking you know I, I know that i have like like 10 seconds to decide but i think i'm actually I'm actually not going to be buying an overclock. So let's see how we do without the overclock. And then if we need it, we're going to restart. So here comes the boss. Let me sell a couple of these farms. Let me get the mad as soon as possible. And I just see the speed at which this thing is going. So because the boss has 50%, I think that time is actually on our side, kind of, if you can, if you can say that. 61. So before 62 ends, like this thing needs to... Oh my god, we're not defending a small balloons. We have... I mean, I do have the Quincy abilities, but like... Let me just use this one. Let me use the mad ability. Round 62. I don't think that we're going to make it, honestly. Maybe we're going to need an overclock after all, it looks like. Round 62, please. Like, one more skull. No. Oh, my God. That's 63. Okay, so look at that thing. So, I beat the first wave with, basically, with, with Quincy, but... Yeah. Are these next waves going to be sped up? Wait, actually, you know what? Let me just sell that thing. So, are these next waves going to be sped up? That's my question, because I can buy something like this. I guess... I guess we can get a, a solver. 
Okay, so these guys are not being sped up. I didn't. I thought the entire round was gonna get sped up. Okay, but that's that's amazing. That's very good news. Okay, so let me turn off all start. Let's deal with round 63, and then as soon as this thing ends, there we go. I'm going to sell this thing and let's move into the next phase of our farming. So I want to be buying the usual stuff. We're gonna transition into the uh, tier five uh, top at farm, the banana essential. So let's do it like this. Let's have. All these guys like this i'm just sending i'm just marking the spots basically that's the only thing that i'm doing and so this thing i'm just gonna get this kind of village this thing is going to be the one that goes into the uh into the banana central so let me buy that thing now yes look at that placement that's perfect and then maybe one more here at the back i, I saw it i saw it let me place this thing please yes look at that farm placement that is beautiful to watch okay so what is the plan well we're going to be getting an overclock engine we're going to be overclocking the banana central then this thing is going to power up all of the all of the remaining farms with a, a small little bit of a caveat and that's the fact that we're not exactly good at defending anymore because the only thing that we have is this druid so yeah we might need to upgrade these i guess these these boats a little bit just so that they can get some extra damage so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get these guys just to the grave shot because that's very cheap. Let me buy the grave shot on a couple of these guys just just for the next few rounds until we get the, our farming going. And so let me overclock the banana essential, hook up the tech bot to the NG, and I feel like you know what I am going to need to place one more farmer. I think, and I think that's gonna be the last one. So this one is collecting from I guess from these guys over here, and then maybe if we can get oh you know what we can do we can actually upgrade this thing to the Wall Street and we can save a farm. Yeah, there we go. So this thing let me just mark this spot. This is gonna be the Wall Street. And then all of the other ones are good. And we can save a farmer like that. That's that's amazing. Uh, let me get this thing to the Monkey City. Let's upgrade its radius. And let's start upgrading these guys to the top at farms. So, yeah, that's that's basically what I'm going to be doing in the next few rounds. So, this is kind of the, the I guess, the, the boring part of, of boss events. So, I'm going to see you guys in a second. We have $100,000. The Apex Plasma is one fifty, And so, all of these guys have been upgraded. So, we're going to get basically this this bonus that you get from the upgrades. That's the cheapest way to do it and to get some, some like, cheap Paragon degrees. We don't have Gerald or anything like that. And I feel like just a, uh, just like a like a very like like a very low dark paragon degree paragon should be able to beat this entire thing. But the idea is to kind of keep it in place. So first off, it's out. Let me just do it like this because you don't get any extra cash from the sellback. So uh, yeah, this is gonna be a degree twenty one, and I think that that's gonna be more than enough. So what does this thing stun? Like like we want to keep it in place because we don't want it stunning a lot of our farms. I know a lot of them are going to get stunned just because we have them over here and that's just how the map works, but we want as, as little of them stunned as possible. And I'm actually going to just keep expanding onto our farming over here. So we're just buying 4 to 0 farms at this point because we've kind of maxed out. I got the, uh, well, actually, you know what? I'm missing the other 50. I'm missing the, um, the what's, what's this one called? The uh, the ability one, the, uh, the monkey nomis. How am I forgetting this thing? I'm not using it that much. It's only in boss events, honestly. You know what? As soon as we're done with this thing, I'm just going to... I'm probably going to have this Dark Paragon defend. I'm going to fill the map with a bunch of 420 farms. So that's probably going to be it for, for the farming portion of this boss event. So let's just watch this thing end. And round 85, this thing is... Yeah, it's moving kind of slow. I'm going to be honest. So maybe I should have the Dark Paragon boy towards the left in this empty spot. But that is... That's going to be fine. There we go. That is tier 3 popped. So I'm going to keep the Dark Paragon, actually. I'm going to let it defend. And let's just start buying a bunch of 420 farms. And you know what? I'm going to see you guys for the next one. Okay, so tier 4 is coming in the next round. And here's what I... I so I'm kind of getting ready for the Boomerang Paragon. But at the same time, I do have this Dart Degree 21 from the previous one. So I think I'm just going to let the Dart and see if it can beat it in the first place. And then if it can, then I guess there's no need in replacing it. So let's just see how much damage this thing does. And how long it's going to take, actually. I mean... I don't know. I feel like it's going to take it down, isn't it? Maybe we give it a little bit. Oh no, never mind. We're leaking something. Okay, so we have to buy the boomerang, it looks like. Okay, so I bought a bunch of small boomerangs. I'm gonna get the Glade Dominus and I'm gonna put like, I don't know, maybe like 100k into this thing. Cause we do have, we have a bunch of money. Is 100k gonna be enough? You know what? Let's just do 200. That's fine. I think we can afford it. So let's do it like this. And let's see what degree we get on the boomerang. It's gonna be 39. So this thing should be able to defend by itself, right? I mean, I'm mostly concerned about the leaks, honestly. It's just. I know it's gonna beat Vortex, it's just that these DETs are getting sped up by the boss and they're just super fast. So let's just make sure we don't leak anything else, any spawn balloons, and that should be more than enough. And you know what? Maybe we can get some damage amplifiers going as well, because why not? So let's do it like this. Let's just get one of these guys. Let's just have them on strong. Uh, the ice is probably not gonna do anything. We could probably get a glue, but I think that this is fine. So yeah, it's just gonna be 
as soon as it so look at this thing so the boss is it's popping just from like side attacks and i guess the the secondary attack the uh, the mob domination attack is just not exactly getting attacked directly because it's not even entering the boomer's range it's just these these bouncing glaze are just popping the boss but yeah this is gonna do it for sure and then the the last one which is gonna be tier 5 i do have one special paragon which is what's well, not a special paragon everyone knows it but it is it's a paragon that's probably going to beat this whole thing by itself and i think that that is what ninja q intended so uh yeah let's just wait for this one to finish and then we're gonna see you i'm gonna see you guys in the tier five here it is this is the paragon that i wanted to buy it's the ninja paragon so this is so here's why i have my screen first off these are the just the 25 202 ones that are gonna give us uh the points for uh, actually the paragon power points for the uh from the upgrade section and then we are going to put as much money as possible which is oh actually well, we farmed four million dollars, but actually the maximum is like it's like two million. So we're gonna have a bunch of leftover, and this is degree sixty-one. Is this the max? I think this is the max. Well, we didn't have a lot of pops on it, so I guess this is the max. But this is basically it. Can we do it? Can this single guy do it? This is gonna be like a, I guess like a David versus Goliath battle. This is I guess what Ninja Kiwi intended when they when they had only one Paragon allowed. So hopefully this thing can win by itself. I mean, we cannot buy anything else. Uh, and this is just going to be the sticky projectiles, I guess, which is exactly what Ninja Kiwi intended to do. I don't know. Is this going to beat it? Because it's kind of slowly moving towards it, although it still hasn't reached its shuriken attack range. So I feel like it might not be able to do it if, if the damage from the shurikens isn't enough. But I feel like it is actually. No, it's going to be enough. So as soon as... Okay, so as soon as it comes into this area, like it's going to be enough. But this is it. This is actually one single paragon defeating an elite boss by itself and it's the ninja paragon so i think that the the um the choice for the ninja paragon was probably obvious to a lot of you guys especially because if you guys have read the patch notes so they recently did a rebalancing with this whole paragon system and they apparently found a bug in which all these paragons were doing extra damage to bosses and so they, they did kind of a rework to the entire system so now we can do stuff like like well you, you just you guys saw the paragon slider and stuff like that but uh, after the rebalancing, what happened was all these Paragons, so for example the Dart and, the, and a bunch of other ones, uh, they I think they got, on average, they got a little bit weaker. Except for one. And that one is the Ninja, which I think it actually became stronger after the, the, the Paragon rebalancing. So this thing is, yeah, you know what, it's actually defeating it by itself. I mean, as long as Vortex doesn't make it in, in its stunning range, which, let's see if it's gonna do it. No, it, it, it's not stunning it. Okay, so this was a... <laughs> so this is actually a good placement this was i kind of wanted to have it in the back so it, it doesn't get stunned and and it just throws the sticky charges so i thought that the stickies might be enough honestly but it looks like it looks like the stickies aren't enough it needs the the flash bomb and the shuriken attacks but yeah this is absolutely gonna win by itself we made a lot more money so i guess if you guys haven't played this thing just don't sweat it with the cash because you're not gonna be able to spend it anyways like i'm sitting at two million dollars but yeah, this is gonna be it. That is tier 5 Vortex getting defeated by one single Paragon. It's the ninja one. So yeah, let's just let's just check the pops on this thing. I mean it's got everything. It popped over. This is 004. I no, actually I think I have that one. But let's just check the pops on this thing. It's 21 million pops. And how much HP did this thing have? I, I didn't check actually, but yeah, this just it just popped everything and it cleaned the entire round by itself. So there you go. That is the tier 5 elite vortex getting pawned by a single ninja paragon so that's it for this one hope you guys enjoyed the video and i will see you all in the next one